Hi everyone, it is the day, nope, it's the 27th, two days after Christmas. We didn't vlog during Christmas obviously because we were around family, but I'm going to vlog today and today we're gonna go get a rug and some things for the downstairs because yesterday we worked on the downstairs and we wanna kinda make it like a chill out area and then we also have a workout room down there so we're gonna go try to find some things to buy for that and we didn't wanna go out on Boxing Day because it was just too much. If you guys don't know what Boxing Day and it is in America, it's basically like a, the day after Christmas, it's like a Black Friday but like for Canada. It's like the day after Christmas instead of Thanksgiving and everything's on sale. So we're gonna go try to find like a rug and a coffee table and we looked on Facebook Marketplace first to try and save some money but if we can get some decent deals, I don't wanna spend like too much. I don't wanna spend like $200 on a rug. I wanna spend like 120 or less on a rug seems okay to me because the rug has to be pretty big and then I don't wanna spend more than like $100 on a coffee table. So we're gonna have to go see what we have and what we can do. But yeah, and we're also gonna go get Starbucks I think or Tim Hortons, no not Tim Hortons, either McDonald's or Starbucks, I'm not sure but let's go see. Okay, so for downstairs, we got TV tables. We got a cheap on sale table. It was like 60 bucks, $69. And then Josh got us this rug. We don't know if it's big enough. We're not, we don't want to spend too much money because like, you know, we already have a living room that we've spent enough money on. And there we got some other things. So we'll bring them downstairs, set it up and we'll show you. So this is what downstairs is looking like so far. We want to put a rug right there and then a table. And then we also got this. It was only $89 at Canadian Tire and we've been playing it. It's like a two person thing. We thought it'd be fun when people are over and then you can just fold it up and store it or we could bring it outside in the backyard because it's battery operated. So this is what it looks like right now. That's just a mess because we were hanging stuff up yesterday. Oh, and then that's like our little like bar area. We're gonna fill it with snacks. It used to be filled with snacks, but then we ate them all. <laughs> oh, and then the workout room. Here's the workout room that Josh was working on yesterday. So we have our lips. Sorry guys, my camera memory card got full. So we have like this little section right here. We need to get more of these. We thought they were bigger to be honest, but we got this and this is gonna need to be mounted on the wall so we can watch TV while we're on the elliptical and treadmill. That's his little boxing bag. And then I wanna get some mirrors for right here or like maybe along this wall. And yeah, this is our little workout room. Okay guys, the moment of truth. We only want it to be like just to fill this area. We don't want it too big because it's too expensive. We found one that was $200 and it was a foot bigger, which makes a difference. What? Oh. It's so Oh my. Maybe it's so small. Oh my God, it's so small. Okay, so Josh is putting together the table. We cheaped out a little bit down here, guys. We didn't want to spend too much money. And then I got this so people can hang up their coats. I was thinking of putting it like right here. So if people come straight downstairs, they have somewhere to hang their coat. And then, cap it up. I also got this. I don't know if this is gonna be for down here or upstairs, but it's so cute. And then I got this for my plants. Look how cute. It says water. And you can mist your plants. Adorable. Sure. Please get out. Come here, Cap. You're too fat for this. He weighs almost 17 pounds. He's too big for it. Anyways, guys, look. So I never use the basement one because it just didn't feel comfy. It felt like cold and stuff, but it is so cute down here now. Look. You wanted me to throw the tree, but I like the tree right there. So now we're looking at it and we actually don't mind it being that small because like, I don't know. I feel like it makes it look more open anyways. I need to fill up this and then organize this a little bit. Those are our drinks. This is a bar 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 Bartesian, and it doesn't work. And this was like 400 bucks, and these were over 100. So I'm very upset with this, and I think I'm gonna message them because this is like, um, actually, it was my first time using it. This is like four months old, but the first time I used it, it didn't work. So I'm kind of disappointed in that, and I'm gonna try and get a new one. I have the like the box and everything still. So if I could just return it and then they can swap it out for a new one, that would be great. I have a Keurig upstairs that I wanna bring down here. And I wanna get like a Culligan or something for water because if I have the Keurig down here, it's a single serve. And if people want something, they're gonna need to go all the way upstairs to put water in it because our bathroom down here isn't finished. And a Culligan's cheap, so I don't know. What do you guys think? This is dirty, so don't pay attention to that. But this is a freaking vibe. Oh, and I hung up the coat hanger right there. Okay guys, so we just mounted the TV and it's crooked. 
<laughs> well, it's not really. It's 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 okay. It's not really that crooked. But we did it like the lazy way because we were like, it's only gonna be us in here, so we didn't really care. So we did it the lazy way. But now we're gonna go and get some snacks for down here and get a water call again, and then we're gonna edit and upload for our couple channel, and we'll be back. Okay, guys. I'm taking over for just a second, so I'm out of breath. I've just been running up and down the stairs. We just picked up a collagen machine, so this is gonna come down here. We just picked up two jugs as well. So we're gonna put it so people don't have to like run up and down the stairs. If they're down here, they want water. This one has hot and cold as well. So we're gonna put like little tea bags in here. So ba basically we'll have like cups for people, put the tea bag in, hot water, have tea, be a little thing of sugar too. I'm gonna fill the fridge, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's set this up. Okay, so this is it here, very nice. So it even has like a sensor for when it's getting low. That's the hot temp sensor. I don't know, I think cool and cold, I don't, I don't really know. But it's really nice, it's really sleek. Let's take this off. It's here, for it. Free, free Primo water coupons after we already bought it, okay. Okay guys, here's the finished product. We have to wait about an hour for the cold water to actually be cold. And then we have to drain it like, I think four cups of water, too hot, too cold to like clean it out a little bit. And then we can use it. We really like this one because typically like a water machine like this, like a Culligan machine, whatever, would have the Culligan go on top and then pour the water pour down. This one has it all under, so it's all hidden. It looks super, super clean. So, yeah. Okay guys, these are all the snacks that I got. So let's fill them up. This is before. So guys, this has been my life for the past 48 hours, oh, 24 hours. All he does is this. It's just all he does is just nonstop. So our plan is to get really good and then invite people over and then start betting and take all of their money. That's the plan. Yeah, also, if you guys watch H3, look at his shirt. We sing this song all the time. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. And this is the after, by the way. We have everything, yeah, yeah, everything awesome. people could want here. It's good because whenever people come here, they're here for like hours and they get hungry and then I have to cook for them and I don't want to, so here we go. <laughs> so we already get, we already are putting our game to use. Oh shit, the ball's over here. Oh, <laughs> the ball. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, that causes problems. And then Carly added the tea station. We were talking about the cups so here. We got the hot water out of that thing for the first time to make this tea. It is piping hot. Yeah, it's hot as like shit. you have to. It's just as hot as the curate. Like yeah, it's great. Yeah. So yeah, everything's kind of set up down here. Talk to us when it's not so loud. Okay, guys. So we watched the movie. What's it called? Don't look up. Don't look up. It's with Leonardo DiCaprio, Jonah Hill, Meryl Streep. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Personally. Kid Cudi. Personally, I thought the movie was absolute trash. And I was having high expectations because of all of the actors and actresses in it. I found I found the message good, but the overall. Because yes. they labeled it as a comedy and it's not. It's the not a comedy. The only funny part of that movie was Jonah Hill. Who is always the funniest. Right. But overall, not funny. But it was done by Adam McKay who did like Step Brothers and Talladega Nights and all those movies. So I thought it'd be really good, but... It was a good message overall, like she said, but the movie itself was definitely not a comedy. I mean, it's worth it. I would watch it again. Like, if, if I were to recommend it to someone, I would say you definitely watch it because it's a decent premise, but don't go into it thinking it's a comedy because it's it will disappoint you in that regard. I think it would have been a lot better if we didn't think it was a comedy. Then we would have been good. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I felt like it was really dragged on and there was a lot of pointless parts and I don't know. Overall... It was a... What would you rate it out of 10? 6 out of 10. 5 really? out of 10. 5 out of 10. I'd say I'd give it a 7. A 7 for what? Because of the story. Like, it was a good story. Oh, okay. You're sounding like the people that like Parasite. I'm having really bad allergies because I was cuddling with Kappa. And I need to clean off that couch really bad. Because I forgot my dad had it for a while. And that means I should... <laughs> Kappa loves it. 
Like he freaking is yeah, obsessed Luna's with it. Standing up again. Oh, Luna loves sleeping standing up. That's right now. If you guys want a finished house tour, let me know. I will do one. We did so much today. Yeah, we did. Like every, like the whole basement looks completely different than it did two days ago. I love the fact that we can have tea down here. Yeah, like getting the table, the rug, rearranging the couch in a different way, hanging everything up, redoing the workout room, stocking the snacks, getting the basketball thing, like everything is different, so. The water jug, water is super hot. Like, it's like as hot as if you were to boil water, which oh I like. Oh my God, yeah, because, it's super hot. Because down here we could have tea. And we're probably gonna be here at nighttime, which is usually when we have tea. I had two teas, actually. Yeah, the whole like tea station with the Culligan machine is really, really good. I always call it a Culligan machine when I know that's not what that one's called. But anyway, really, really good. Like it literally, we transformed the whole basement and it is uh, a lot more comfortable. So what I was saying to her is upstairs, it doesn't feel very like homey or like comfy. This feels a lot more comfy, I feel like. It's more enclosed too. Yeah, it's more enclosed and not so open. Smaller ceilings. It's way comfier couch. Way comfier couch. Like it feels just a lot more homey and a lot more comfortable. And we like to have people over quite a bit, but yeah. Yeah, all my eyelashes are falling out. I missed my eyelash appointment today. And look, they're all falling out. Anyways, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye guys. Bye guys.